Red edition, happy day. <laughs> it's kind of fun to start today off with a song and now I'm gonna wreck your day. Maybe not, you can come back and start singing later, but now I'll tell you all about political things that are going on in America and in Canada that might depress you initially. Let me start initially. Firstly, let me start with as red Tories should exit the political stage with regard to the Conservative Party. Firstly, a Tory in Canada is uh, what they call a conservative. I don't know, that's out of the old English system. Every time I hear a Tory or grit, which stands for liberal, I have to stop and think, which is it? What do they mean? But in any event, it's kind of like the GOP. I recently asked uh, a bunch of people in a room in a roster in Los Angeles what GOP stood for. Not very many people knew. It stands for Grand Old Party, which of course is the Republican Party. In any event, back to Canada and their red Tories, they're looking now to change the voting process at their upcoming convention in Calgary to be held later on this fall. Which which will take it back to one member, one vote, and a lot of people are upset with that, in particular the red Tories, the red conservatives, red standing for left leaning, they're in the wrong party anyway, right? In any event, they're <laughs> left, right. Now, it's been replaced as one man, one vote kind of concept was replaced a while ago that uh, in that each riding has a hundred votes regardless of the number of local memberships, which of course benefits Atlantic Canada and primarily benefits Quebec, of course it does, right? And the shift in Canada's left-right political system now over the years just hasn't conformed with the current structure of, of the conservative and or the liberal party. I mean, so many people are in the wrong party. There's a lot of right liberals that really are conservative. They're business owners. And I have a friend of mine who believes in shooting capital punishment and basically all the things I do. And he votes liberal. And I say, why? And he said, well, I always have. And that doesn't seem to make any sense to me. Again, we're talking about the Canadian system. You know, firstly, I think that you need to charge people for fraud if they lie and if they're in politics. That's a given, right? So, so if a guy says or a gal says, vote for me, I'm a conservative, and, and the, the values and everything that they have, in fact, aren't conservative. It's like calling yourself a plumber when you're really a painter. You haven't been to plumber school, so what are you doing, right? And a lot of rights in here because politically right is right and left is wrong. And so many of these people are on the wrong side of the house. And someone needs to deal with that. And again, oh, can't do that unless you have a government in control. Somebody needs to set a policy or a rule, a law even, to say that you can't lie. In the House of Parliament, interestingly enough, you actually can lie. You can lie in there and the press can record that lie, which they often do and print it, and nobody can be held accountable because that's the old English rules. It needs to be fixed. You need a fix here to the system. Just get a man on that, will you? Somebody's got to kind of wake up. Now, starting July 1st, which was just a, you know, a week or so ago, Canadians have a redesigned passport, has all kinds of new security and anti-counterfeiting measures, and now for the first time you can have a 10-year passport. Do you think you'll all, you're all going to look the same in 10 years? <laughs> I don't know, but in any event, it goes from 5 to 10 at your option. You can continue with the 5 or whatever. It costs a bunch more money, but that's all right. Here's an Australian telephone greeting. be kind of amazing if this was held in other or used in other parts of the world, huh? Good morning. Welcome to... Center Link, the Australian Social Service and Benefit Office. Press 1 if you speak English or press 2 to disconnect until you can. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Talking cigarette packs. This is kind of interesting. Cigarette packs now have recorded messages in them. This has been a, a test and the test has been successful. They're looking now to roll it out into every cigarette package across the nation. We'll see. In any event, it urges smokers to quit. Messages about the dangers of smoking when they're open <laughs> and the same, you know, these are the same people the liberal schmucks that, that are encouraging this to happen, the same ones that say it's okay to smoke dope, let's make that legal, but let's get rid of cigarettes and they make more tax money from cigarettes than they do from anything else. Hungry thief file. In Vancouver, Canada, a man came home at about 7 p.m. <laughs> there was a, a new man in his kitchen, no clothes on, he'd had a shower and everything, and now he was cooking bacon and eggs at 7 at night, not in the morning, and he said, hey, what y'all doing here? I'm just having supper. What do you think? He phoned the police. Police came and picked him up and arrested him for break and enter and so on. There are 1,500 residential break-ins in Vancouver per quarter. That sounds like a big number. That's a ton. Hey, per quarter? Wow. I guess the police are kind of busy with that. Let me tell you a little bit about leftism in a sentence. Activity is confused with achievement. Profound, huh? I just want to leave you with that profound kind of stuff. 
Now, the joke of the day. Happy up. I've depressed you enough with all the political things going on in the world. There were four guys that were supposed to write their final exam the very next day, and they were out partying all night. They had a big time, and, and of course they missed their exam, and this was the final. And they went to the teacher, the professor, and said, we had a flat tire, we were away for the weekend, we couldn't get back, and we're here now, will you let us write? Okay, you can write. He put all four of them in a different room, gave them the final exam, and it started off with, for 95 points, which tire? <laughs> <laughs> well, come back tomorrow. We're going to more for you from the right. See ya.